Hello guys. Good day and welcome to today's lecture. I am Dom Philemon and in this lecture I will be introducing you guys to the use of Aspen ICs for process simulation. Now before I go further, I would like to define what process simulation is. Now process simulation is the use of computer software programs for the quantitative modeling of processes. Now why this is important is because processes that are actually designed and constructed in real life cost time, money, resources and energy. So it is important to determine if these processes are scientifically possible and economically feasible before they are actually designed in real life. Now another reason why process simulation is important is the optimization of processes which involves the determination of the best process conditions for a particular process as well as determining the optimum raw materials that will be required at such process conditions. Now another reason also is the um, integration of processes. Before I go further, I would like to give an example of a process. Now, a practical example of a process is the production of polyethylene from ethylene, which is on the screen at the moment. Now, this particular process can be simulated using a process simulation software. So moving on, I would like to quickly spell out some of the process simulation softwares that are currently in use. I may not list all of them, but I'll just list a few that I have already come in contact with. So we have the DWC, which is an open source software by Daniel Medeiros, Grigor and Leon. Then we have Unisim by Honeywell. We have VGM Symmetry by Sloan BG. We have ChemCard by ChemStations. We have Aspen Isis, Aspen Plus by Aspen Tech. We have Coco Simulator by Amstar Chem. We have Pro2 by Aviva and Petrosim by KBC. Now, our major um, focus for today is the Aspen Isis, which is designed by Aspen Tech. Now, Aspen is, is an acronym for Advanced System for Process Engineering, while HiSys is Hypotech Systems. Both Aspen ISIS and Aspen Plus were actually designed by Aspen Tech. So, in today's um, lecture, I'll just be showing us what some of the things that Aspen ISIS can actually be used for. Now, before we move over to that, I would like to show us some of the software environments, at least the ones that are installed on my system. So we are going to, um, the first is the DWSIM. Now this is the DWSIM environment. This is what it looks like when you install it and you are about to use it. This is actually the simulation environment. Then for Aspen ISIS, we have something like this. This is the simulation environment for Aspen ISIS. Then for Aspen Plus, for Aspen Plus, we have this. This is the simulation environment for Aspen Plus. Now, going over to what we can use um, Aspen ISIS for, we have generation of process flow diagrams. We have material and energy balance, economic analysis, energy analysis, equipment design. Then we have steady and dynamic state simulation, flow assurance analysis, process control, process optimization, safety analysis, etc. That means ISIS can be used to even do many other things apart from all that has been listed at the moment. So now, 
The first is um, the generation of process flow diagrams. So, for example, my next. Now, this right here was actually generated using the Aspen IC software. This is actually the PFD, the process flow diagram of a particular process, and it was um, simulated with Aspen ICs, and then the flow sheet was generated and printed as a P PDF, right? So, Aspen ICs can be used for generation of process flow diagrams as the first. And it says material and energy balance of processes. Now, let's go to a simulation where I can quickly illustrate that. Okay, so this one is good. So for the for the um, material and energy balance, you could check that from the workbook, right? So we can get the material balance at each stream, as well as the energy balance too. For each of the pop, for each of the equipment. You can get the material and energy balance. Then also, we could also get the um, overall material and energy balance for a particular process from the flow sheets, right? The flow sheet gives us material and energy balance for the environment of the process. That's the overall material and energy balance. This can be gotten from the flow sheets. Then what else can we get? Also, we can get the um, economic analysis of the process. That means Aspen ICs can be used for economic analysis, which has already been done on this particular simulation. You can see the values from the green bar. We could also check the equipment data summary to get more details about the economic analysis. Where you can see prices of raw materials, products, uh, payback periods, and the likes. Then you can check the values for each of the equipment as well. That's the prices of those equipment as well as their installation costs. All this can be achieved using Aspen ICs. Also, Aspen ICs can be used for energy analysis, which has also been done on this particular process. Now, you can check that from the energy analysis tab either by clicking on this blue bar or for example it has already been opened here so just click on this right so you can also get the energy analysis details of the process that's after it has been done you can get the utility specifications the carbon emissions the exchangers the exchanger details, the, you can even do design changes on the process. So, Aspen ICs can be used for energy analysis. Aspen ICs can also be used for line sizing. So, I'll also be showing that quickly. So, for line sizing, this is actually another simulation. So, I'm just trying to combine different, different simulations and what they have been done, what has been done on them. So now this is another simulation. Now in this simulation, line sizing, line sizing was done on different streams. So Aspen ICs can actually be used for line sizing to determine the um, the conditions of the particular pipe that will be required for that particular stream. So you we'll get the pipe nominal diameter, the inside diameter. The wall thickness and the legs. All this data will be given after you have made some initial specifications, right? Aspen ICs could also be used for um, flow assurance in pipes, which I will also be showing quickly. Flow assurance in pipes. Okay, so from this particular process, a process that has a lot of pipes, quite a lot of pipes. Aspen ICs can be used for 
flow assurance analysis of each of those pipes. We do analysis of corrosion, erosion, hydrate formation, snog, slug analysis, then um, wax deposition as well. Right. So by the time you input the required values for the initial conditions, the the, re the remaining calculations will be done by HISIS. Now, what else is there anything I'm missing out? Let me see. Okay, yes. It can also be used for equipment design. It goes with, um, that goes with the, uh, the costing, the economic analysis of the process. Let's see. Um, okay. Okay, so the um, the equipment sizing usually goes with the economic analysis. So for each of the equipment, you could actually see their um, sizing parameters and the values as well for each of the equipment involved or is that is going to be used in that particular process right so these are some of the things aspen ISIS can be used for now let me check if there is anything i'm missing out okay i think that should be all okay guys so this is the end of today's um lecture see you next time